Right, we are going to do the titration of oxalic acid, which is here in this standard solution, so in a volumetric flask. We're titrating it with sodium hydroxide solution, which is in the burette. I'm just going to add one more pipette full of oxalic acid to my third conical flask. So remember, when you're filling a pipette, you use button to fill, and you go up to the line, up, 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 and you stop right on the line like that, and then you transfer to your volumetric conical flask. Oh, conical flask. I like to do it by taking the end off the filler, off the pipette, and just letting it drain. So. We now have three flasks, each with 20 millilitres of oxalic acid. And now I'm going to read the burette again, because this burette's got a little bit of a slow leak. Um, it is 0 0.40. So write that down, 0.40 is our initial volume. I'm putting my oxalic acid over there. Phenyl saline. Now, if you were doing this, you would make sure that your partner knew you had added the phenolphthalein because when you add it to the oxalic acid, you can't see that you've added it because in acids, phenolphthalein is colourless. But it's an excellent indicator for a titration between a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide, and a weak acid, such as oxalic acid. Okay, let's see how we go. Take the funnel out and let's see what happens. So we're expecting the pink colour of the phenolphthalein when it's acidic. So we, when it's basic, I should say, when we've got an excess of base. Looks like it's not going to be long. We're already getting a pink colour in the flask. That's excellent. Everybody likes a quick titration. A bit longer. I've got a distinctly damp feeling around my fingers, which suggests that this burette is leaking, which makes me very sad. Um, I'll try and get it done as quickly as I can so that I can mitigate the damage of a leaking burette on my results. There we go. No, not quite. A couple more drops. There we go. Right, it's done. Good. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Let's loose, tighten that up and maybe it won't leak anymore. Okay, final volume is 22.70. Now, I suspect that's larger than it ought to be. So, let's try the next one. So, we're starting this time at 22.70 to save time. 22.70. So remember, we always write up our titration results in a table like this. Final first, then initial, and then the volume of titer. So I can do my subtraction down there. 22.7 minus 0.4 is 22.3. So my volume of the first titer is 22.3. So I'm hoping that I'm going to go to about 45 for this next one from my 22.7. Let's see how we go. Starting at 22.7, the way we go. It might be a bit less because, as I said, my burette was leaking. We're starting to get the pink colour. Give it a swirl and it disappears. So we just keep mixing it in. The pink colour is because there's a concentrated region of sodium hydroxide in the centre. But if we swirl it, it gets a chance to react with the oxalic acid. All right, we're getting down to 40 now. Keep going. It takes longer for the pink colour to disappear when you're getting near the end point. 
Oh, very, 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 very close. I reckon if I can get just one drop. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Happy days. There, one drop and the colour has changed. So that, yes, considerably less than last time, 42.9870. 42.7. So that was 20. 20.0. That makes, that's, that's quite a pity. So let's just refill our burette. Right, our third titration. I've got my phenylphthalein in the oxalic acid. Um, starting volume was 0.15 millilitres. So away we go. If our burette will work. Come on, burette, please. Thank you. So this burette has a habit of coming undone while I'm trying to use it, which is not great. So we just keep adding. You can see the pink colour is there, but it disappears. I've been rather cavalier with this, but that's okay. There we go. We just keep adding. I'm watching the pink, but it's disappearing. It appears and it goes away. Keep adding and it vanishes. Right, we're up to almost up to 19 millilitres and we're expecting 20. So let's just get it on drop wise if I can. Maybe I can't. Maybe I need more control. Drop. And another drop. And another drop. Cool. No, all good. And oh, oh, we could be in luck here, folks. So let's just go for one little. Ah, oh, okay. And that's how you go over the end point. Um, and I have messed that up enormously. That is twenty point eight zero. Right, we're starting the next one, and away we go. Started off at 20.65, no, sorry, at 20.80, and I expect to go down to 40.80 if all is well. So going down, down, down. Getting closer. There it is. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. 40.85. And we're up to titration number five. Away we go. Started on 1.30, hoping to go down to 21.30. So we're heading downwards. Once again, pink colour appears, but it disappears when I swirl. Getting very close now. So I need to slow down. There we go. Yep, that's pink. Right. And that volume is 21.30. Beautiful. A little tighter. It really seems as though I've rigged it. If it's coming out, it's 20.00, but I promise you I have not rigged it. So I'm going down. I'm hoping to go down to 41.3. However, I will be very careful and I'll just watch the colour as I get close to the end. I won't read the burette and cheat. So getting close, getting down towards 41. 40.
drops. And there we have it. Ooh, might be a smidge over. That's okay though. 41.40, that's fine. 